Hey guys, it's Bailey, and welcome back to the channel for what's going to be a lip product try-on video. I was at the drugstore and spotted a huge display of a couple different finishes of the L'Oreal Infallible, uh, let's see, they had eight hour pro glosses. They also had pro matte glosses, and then they were segmented between like nudes and peaches and reds and all that kind of stuff. So I picked up a sampling here. They're nowhere near what exists in the whole line, but I thought in case you're seeing these on your shelves as well. Just a good reference point, especially since with these, and you guys can probably answer this in the comments below, I'm never sure if they're relaunching these, if these are new shades added on to a permanent collection, because I remember when these were new to the drugstore two years ago, I want to say, and it seems like they keep either relaunching them with new shades or they just keep coming back occasionally. I'm not sure, but I thought it would be a good opportunity in case you're seeing these, these displays as well and you're like, I don't know which one to pick up. I picked a good sampling from all of the different uh, kind of shade selections. So let's go ahead and get into it, starting with some of the neutral shades. Let's go with the glosses. Um, oh my gosh, some of my favorites. This is a peachy pink with a heavy gold shimmer, and I would say, this is the shade Suede, by the way. I would say this, of all the lip glosses I've had that are similar to this, this has a more extreme gold shift than any of them that I have tried. Next up is another gorgeous one, Dulce de Leche, and this is a more taupey nude, but the shimmer in here is so unique because it's almost almost holographic, like there's a mix of green and yellow and purple and just a really cool mix, and I applied this actually over one of the Huda Beauty um, lip liners in Cheerleader, and putting it over a deeper base really brought out the shift in those shimmers and just like it looked beautiful on the lips. So I think this one is going to be a really fun one to play with, whether it's on nude lips like you're seeing it swatch now, or if you play with it over a deeper base as well. So those are the kind of nudier shades I picked up. Now let's get into some of the fiery red shades. Like, these once again are still the eight hour pro glosses because I have matte, so I wanna make sure you'll know from the swatches whether they're gloss or a matte, but just to be clear. So one is Cherry Flash, and despite looking very red in the, uh, or kind of like fiery orangey red, which is ironic given the name of the next one that I'm about to talk about, but basically, um, Cherry Flash is an orangey red, I would say, with a gold shimmer, and then shimmer that matches the shade of the actual lip product. It's just slightly off, so you get just a hint of shimmer, but on my lips, this is a Your Lips But Better kind of shade. So it's not nearly as pigmented as you might think in the packaging, whereas on the other hand, you have the shade called Fiery, like I was saying before, I would have thought this kind of orangey would be more fiery, but anywho, I digress. Fiery is far more pigmented than I expected it to be from the way it looks on the tube, because in the tube it has a very strong gold shift, and when worn, it does as well. It has a very similar, similar shift as Suede does on the lips but with a more intense red undertone. I absolutely love this for when I want something that's a little amped up on the lips. I don't wanna go full on lipstick and I want something that's really easy to apply. One thing that I love about these wands is they have this really tapered doe foot, so it makes it so easy to apply precisely on the go. Absolutely love it. And then the last two shades that I picked up are the matte, they're the uh, pro matte glosses, and one of which I am wearing, it's Bare Attraction, it's the nude that I'm wearing on my lips right now, and I would say it comes off a little bit peachier on the lips, consistently no matter how I wear this, what I wear it with, the peach always pulls through on my skin, so you might find that it pulls a little cooler on yours, but yeah, for some reason this is just, it ends up being a little bit peachier, so something to consider if you shy away from nudes because you can't find your perfect nude nude, it makes you look dead or it just you know, doesn't work for you, you might consider this one because it seems to be a little bit more forgiving depending on your skin tone. And then I got a red one and this is Shanghai Scarlet, absolutely gorgeous blue based red, it's going to make your pearly whites pop. It, it's just beautiful, and the consist consistency of these is kind of like a mousse. They are kind of like the NYX Matte Lip Cream, I think that's what they're called. They don't dry down though, they are definitely not transfer proof, and you're gonna see these showing up on your glasses as you drink throughout the day. They definitely come off of food, I wouldn't say they're long lasting by any in any sense of the word. But they definitely give you that satiny matte liquid lipstick look without actually wearing a lipstick that dries down on your lips, which some people might really like because those that dry down on their lips can tend to be very drying, can make people people's lips and skin uncomfortable. Not the case with these. 
All of these, in fact, whether it's the matte or the gloss, wear unbelievably comfortably on the lips. And for the glosses, I would say it's a non-sticky formula. It's, they like, they have a lot of slip in between them. Like when you rub your lips together, there's a lot of slip there. But when you go to touch it to a glass, or you go rub your, I mean, obviously you rub your lips against themselves, but there just isn't a whole lot of transfer or stickiness there. Surprisingly, despite the fact that they are glosses, they're just not a sticky formula, which is awesome. The one thing I will say about the gloss formula in particular though, is it does say eight hour pro gloss. I do not get eight hours worth of wear out of these. They're a non-sticky formula, so they transfer less on other things than glosses, but I definitely wouldn't say eight hour wear. I would say, you know, the, the glossy finish and the color itself wears off after between three and four, depending on how much I'm eating and drinking. And then all the shade, well, all of the shades, because they all have shimmer. The shimmer definitely lingers for a lot longer. It gets, because it's so fine, it gets caught in like the fine lines of my lips and things like that. So it definitely takes a while for them to wear away, but I definitely wouldn't say that any of these are eight hour wear time by any stretch of the definition. So something to consider, but overall, I would say this is a really great gloss line from the drugstore if you're into non-sticky but very pigmented glosses, with the exception, of course, of uh, Cherry cherry Flash, because like I said, that ended up being more of a Your Lips But Better shade on me and not this kind of bright cherry red from the uh, packaging. So I would love to know what shades you guys have tried in the comments below. Like I said, there are so many on the dis this display, there's no way I could have picked them all up. But hopefully the ones that I were, was able to show you today were useful if you were eyeing them or just wanted to get a feel for what the line was like. Hope it was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.